Please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the pledge. And now, the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to this January 28th edition of The Daily Row. I'm Dale. And I'm Dylan. Happy Bubble Wrap Appreciation Day. Seriously, we don't know why this is a holiday, but why not? Happy reading, cats. On this day in history, 1956, the young country rock singer Elvis Presley makes his first TV appearance on, well, TV. And the musical variety program Stage Show, singing Heartbreak Hotel. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. For Literacy Week, we thought it would be cool to share a fact about reading. So, here's today's installment. A recent study found that people who read are two and a half times less likely to be diagnosed with Alzheimer's syndrome so later on in life. Although that does not mean that reading will prevent this disease, it proves a slight relationship between reading and prevention brain function. Speaking of the writing on the wall, the weather here today will be mostly sunny with a high of 65 and a low of 38 with a 10% chance of rain. <laughs> this week looks pretty good overall for great weather. Get outside and do something. We'd like to have, wish a happy birthday today to Matthew Fraze. We hope you, ha Mr. Fraze, will have a wonderful birthday today. Not only happy birthday, but yes, yearbooks are still on sale, $100. You can purchase one at yearbookordercenter.com for $100. Here's an important announcement from journalism as well. There's only three spots remaining in for senior ads. These are sold as first come first serve basis. If you are interested in a senior ad, please visit yearbookorder.center.com in order to create your ad. Do it today if you haven't started following us. Follow us today at Daily Grout on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Juniors and seniors who are interested in engineering, environmental sciences, CAD, project management, or construction, Make sure to check out the Construction Career Days field trip, February 28th in Jacksonville. You will be educated, visit a trade show, and actually have the opportunity to run some big equipment. Closed heel and closed toe shoes are mandatory and lunch will be provided. See Ms. Charco for more information. Today is Wildcat Ward Cornhole. Meet us in the courtyard and you may win some candy. Tomorrow will be pause for reading, wear your Wildcat gear and plan on reading. We will be playing Wildcat Bingo in the cafeteria during lunch, so get a bingo card or use your phone for a digital bingo. You won't want to miss hearing Mr. Murphy's bingo calling. Don't forget that's today, the day for board games in the cafeteria. We'll be celebrating literacy with karaoke on Friday, February 1st during all three lunches. Sign up ahead of time during your lunch to be sure you get a spot. Beta Club will be selling Valentine grams to to raise money for teacher appreciation, please see an officer or look at the table for lunch. at lunch. For just a dollar, you can brighten someone's day. Are you a Verizon customer? If so, you will no longer receive text from Remind. So please make sure you have your Remind account set to receive emails or smartphone notifications through the app. Make this change today so you can continue to, re to, continue to get Remind notifications. Tell your parents so they can keep in touch about school events too. Don't miss today's girls' wildcat basketball game at Bishop Snyder. Good luck, girls. Today for lunch, you have the option of banging chicken bites, Tony's pepperoni pizza, ham it up cheese calzone, or say cheeseburger. Oh my God. That's it for today. We hope you have a memorable celebrate. What to see Monday, Wildcats? That was a mouthful.